Okay, this long board, I'm going to sell it on eBay. See, this is a pretty cheap long board, and I guess you really do have to pay for an expensive one so it can maneuver better. Um, you know, because it just seemed like this thing never could steer very well. I don't know, but like I said, I've only been on it a couple times. And I busted my ass the second time. Well, I've been on it like three times, I guess, three or four times, but as far as practicing on it just twice. The first time, I, you know, I did fine. I went down some inclines on the bike trails, but uh, I had to force my, my legs and everything right because it kept force, forcefully trying to go left. It kept trying to take me left, so I knew something was wrong. And so the bushing was, you know, this is a cheap, the wheels are fine, but everything else is really cheap. The bushing in there was bunched up, and it kept making me try to go left. So I had to force my, force it to go right when I was going down the trails on the concrete or whatever. That was a few months ago, but, but yeah, I guess you really do have to pay a lot of money for one to get the best board. See, the board seems kind of, it doesn't seem up to par for somebody my weight. It seems like it should be more like maybe 140 pounds or less, but they claim that this is good for like, I think 185, and I'm well under that weight. But yeah, it just seems awfully cheap, and I guess when you buy cheap boards, they don't maneuver as well. I mean, that's what it seems like, but like I said, I've only been on it, like, significantly two times. Um, the second time, I, ju I just went up and down the, uh, the driveway just to make sure that bunch, that I undid that bunch in the truck, and I can tell that... Um, I did, and I can tell that the wheels were loose, but I wanted them to be loose. I just didn't know that they were too loose. So after I, I found out, you know, that I over-tightened the wheels, and then I found out you had to tighten each truck, or not the wheels, I mean over-tighten the trucks, not the wheels. The wheels are fine, I just mean the trucks. This is the trucks. Right there. So after I found out you're supposed to evenly do, you know, six or seven turns there and then six or seven turns there on both sides I did five turns there and five turns there well and then when I got on in the driveway I noticed um, that I fixed the problem that it wasn't trying to force me left or force me right but yeah I could tell it you know the tracks are pretty dang loose but I didn't know they were that loose and uh And, um, so, uh, well, I just, for the second, second significant time, I tried to go out and practice last night, and I went down an incline, and, which I did fine the second time around, I think I started up just a tad bit higher, not much higher, just barely higher, and I guess that got me going a little faster, and the wheels just wobbled really bad, the wheels just wobbled. Um, but not because of the wheels. The wheels are on tight. The wheels are fine. It's the trucks are way too loose. I didn't know they were so loose that they were going to make me go into a wobble. And I guess I just sort of panicked. I guess what I should have done was just lean down. See, I'm, I'm new to this uh, sport. Like, you know, and yeah, I'm getting rid of it now. I, I can give two shits about it. I love my bicycle. I mean, I've been doing that all my life. I love that. But yeah, this is some shit that you need to start when you're really, really young. Because this is an extreme sport. I mean, I'm sure I could still probably have fun. I could take it on a college campus and cruise around or whatever. But I just don't have that kind of time anyway to screw with all this shit. So I'll just keep, you know, doing my trampoline and my bicycle. Which I love bicycling. And that's fine by me, because uh, I don't have time to try to practice on this stupid thing. So, um, 
so yeah, so so the second time I went down the incline, um, like I said, I should have probably just kind of leaned down and fell on my butt. I didn't even think about it because that's how we, when you look at the videos, that's how they show people stopping and sliding and shit. They slide to stop, but I didn't even really think about that. Maybe I couldn't even have done that. I don't know. But that's what it seems like I maybe should have done was just lean down. But I, I flew, what I did was, like I said, I went into a wobble real bad, so I um, I just dove off of it on the asphalt, just straight in front of the board. I dove off of it. I, I'm surprised. I, I can't believe I didn't break my jaw or, you know, hurt my hand worse or my legs worse or my stomach worse or whatever, but I didn't. I just kind of hurt my knee a little bit. I mean, I got a big bruise, on, not my knee, but above my knee. I just got a big bruise there and my hand a little bit. Right there. But my chin came down at a very strong, you know, force. And blood started gushing out, so I had to go to the emergency room to get stitches. Yeah, because I just, like I say, I just dove off of it because it just was wobbling real bad. And I was about to, shit, I don't know what happened. I just, I was about to crash anyway, so I freaking dove off of it. Just like diving into water, sort of. I, I mean, I don't know. It happened so fast. I don't know why I did that, really. But I guess it's, it's the best thing for me to do. But so, um, so yeah, I'm going to sell this on eBay. And, yeah, I wouldn't really recommend longboarding unless you're going to get maybe a real expensive one because, yeah, these trucks... I know are kind of cheap, the board is cheap, the bushings are cheap, the wheels are fine, but I guess it pays to buy a good board so you can have more stability. But yeah, this piece of shit, I'm selling this on eBay. See, I got blood on it. I'm going to clean that off. But like I say, this was just a hundred dollar one. I think you got to pay at least 400 to get a really good one. I got a little bit of blood right there um, on the dark sandy part. But, yeah, I'm about to post it on eBay. And at first, like I say, when I got on it, I thought it was kind of fun. It seemed kind of fun. And then it seemed like when I, after I fixed the trucks and then I went out in the driveway, I just, it seemed like it wasn't so fun. So I don't know. Maybe that was trying to tell me that I was going to wreck the next time I significantly wanted to go practice or whatever. But, um... But yeah, I do have um, a wave board, and that, that's really a lot of fun, like to go to a parking garage. The wave boards are fun. Those aren't meant for like steep inclines or anything, but those are self-propelled, and you actually get exercise. Those have rollerblade wheels on them. Um, the wave board, and I've been doing that for years, and that is a lot of fun, but it's only fun when you can find really smooth, smooth surfaces, if you know what I mean, but this thing, fuck this, man. Yeah, I'm selling this on eBay. But yeah, I busted my chin open real bad, so they had to put stitches. I mean, I don't know how the hell I didn't break my jaw or break any teeth. I do not know. But normally when I have accidents, um, I just kind of know how to land to minimize my injuries. I've always been real good at that. Because I got hit by a car back when I was 19. I mean, I, I literally got hit by a car on my bicycle, and I just... I flew out in the middle of the intersection, I started sliding, sliding like this, on my elbows, and I kept forcing my head up so my chin wouldn't knock to the, the asphalt, and it didn't. I kept holding my chin up tight as I was sliding along the asphalt, and I just came out with a couple bruises on my leg, but, but this time uh, was a different situation. It's like I came down so hard, I, I didn't you know, slide off of it like when I got hit by the car. You know, this was a different situation. I just dove off and came down hard. I didn't, I couldn't prevent that. And I just like, bam, hit my chin to the concrete. I mean, the asphalt. But yeah, that sh should come off pretty easily. And then I'm, I'm going to go ahead and sell it on eBay. And this is called an Adam longboard. But... Yeah, and, and there's all sorts of different ones. 
Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't. Maybe this wasn't the best one for me. I don't know. But I'm getting rid of the stupid ass thing, cause I don't think with cheap trucks and cheap bushings and everything, I don't think it's ever gonna maneuver as well. That's what it seems like to me. And I guess I didn't realize that when I bought it. 